Welcome, myself Nurul Abidin is going to take the subject Digital Signal Processing and Applications, abbreviated as DSP and Applications. This subject is very important as everything nowadays is digitized, which is required for faster computation and multitasking. So here basically we are going to study and understand or it is an introduction to the subject which is mandatory very important. Now basically for digital signal processing you need to have a digital processor with a A by D converter, D by A converter and an analog input and you will get a final analog output. Now as you already know that many multiprocessor systems, computers and other devices are using digital processor for faster computation and multitasking. So this digital processor is capable of only understanding digital signals. The reason of preferring digital signals over analog signals, the reason is these signals are faster and computation of them is faster. Now going for the block diagram, before going to the block diagram, I want to discuss about two types of signals. One is analog signal and the other one is digital signal basically what we are having is an analog signal for example what I am speaking to you is an analog signal now what I am processing is the computer the computer needs to convert this analog into digital then again what you are hearing the digital converts that that computer the what you are seeing it as digital is converting that digital into analog form so that you can understand so basically we have an analog input which is been given to the A by D converter. The reason of giving to the A by D converter is that the digital processor only understands digital signals and in nature we have only analog input. So converting it into digital then giving the digital processor and here you will get the digital output. Now using a digital to analog converter to convert the signal into analog output so that humans can again understand this. So here, this is the complete block diagram, how analog signal is converted into digital, then from digital again to analog and what is the necessity of converting a digital signal into analog again. So this thing should be understood very much. Now to perform this computation, we use Z transforms and various other algorithms like FFT, Radix algorithm, DFT to as to analyze this signals. Now you have five units in this subject. One is the introduction to digital signal processing as it transforms and second one is frequency domain analysis where you will be studying about DFT, IDFT, FFT, Radix algorithms. Next unit two units you will be having infinite impulse response filters and finite Im impulse response filters. Similar way you will have the fifth unit in which you will be studying about the various practical digital processors that are available that is the TMSC 54XX family. So this was the basic introduction and the necessity for you to understand what is the importance of the subject. Thank you.